fairly tense heads up affair. Very cautious, like a cat coming upon unfamiliar territory. One paw out in front of the other, slowly, gently testing. Well, both players with nine lives as well. Fair. Though I don't think Peachy was put to the test. We know Beefarella was. Four, five, six with oh. a couple of spades, and it is top two against a gutter and the flush draw. There's some writing on the wall here, Brent. Check. 1.3. All in. The check jam was always a possibility, and I can't imagine that this is the sort of hand Peachy can get away with. Indeed, he makes the call, and we play a 21 million chip pot, where Bifarella is at risk. Needs to improve, but has several outs. Yeah, Count them at the top of your screen, 11 in total. A gut shot and a flush draw. He has King, du King Deuce of Spades. I have top two. No, no, no. I thought... No. The turn is a king. And suddenly the plot thickens. 19 outs total for Bifarella. His rail can feel it. Michi needs to fade. And the river's the queen of clubs. He's done it. A second bracelet for Justin Peachy. Not just the ace of hearts, but the ace of clubs as well. Some big hands early on in this heads-up battle. Seems impossible to wear a KFC bucket on your head and pick up two aces. Heads up for a bracelet, but here we have it. His three bet also to 14 million. Does make the call. Oh. Queen eight three trouble brewing for Rosen. The second hand. It's like one third. Ten million is the wage. Ten million. Does make the call. But for Kalov, you are licking your chops. You believe your opponent probably has a queen. Ooh, the turn brings another three. Is going to be in deep trouble. If Kalov were to check here. Oh, run. oh my god. Oh, gosh. and he just jams here on the turn. Whoa. Wow. The overbet, Jeff. Seems like throughout the course of this final table, Kalev has been able to pinpoint exactly where his opponents have been at at each step of most hands. I call. He makes the call, and here we go. Oh my God! Nice end. And Afnu. Call of the aces. Just has to dodge two outs for bracelet number two. River card. Call of second bracelet makes him a millionaire. Seaver's got himself a convertible jack here. Yeah. Raise. One, uh, one Sticking minute. with that 100K open sizing. Raise. Oh, come on. 9.85 trade deuce. Bronfman with the three bet to 400,000. And you wouldn't blame Seaver if he decided to maybe push back on this. In position in particular. All in. All in. 
and he's going to jam. Obviously, a snap call and Pat forthcoming from Bromfman. And Pat. Seaver knows it's bad news. He's got to break the jack. Yeah. Can't possibly think about breaking down further than that, can he? No. One. So nine, Scott Seaver's fate hangs thin. in the balance. Needs to make this 9-7. Yeah. Use three or four I need. To double and stay alive in the hunt for his fifth bracelet. Here it comes. A squeeze. Good game. And GG nice is issued nice as paint is rolled over. And Pedro Bromfman <laughs> has won his first World Series of Poker bracelet. Your champion here in the 10K No Limit Deuce. 12. Rondes makes it 1.2 with King, Queen, Jack, 7 with clubs. Yanofsky with Ace, King, 9, 8 with diamonds. The heads up, obviously. This hand much stronger. Brondes, I don't believe Jeff can consider folding King Queen Jack seven with a suit. Yanofsky does three bet to 3.6, and yeah, you said it. Brondes quickly calls. So 7.6 million in the pot. Yanofsky has less than that behind. Flop comes king, nine, four. Yanofsky flops top two. You can see the equities. Nearly 40% for Brondes. Mm. Says all of it. What are you talking about? It's small. All in. All the chips in the middle. Here we go. Yeah. We need nine of clubs. Nine of clubs. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Both rails look on. Anxiously. 10 on the turn! No jinx, no jinx. It's not over yet, but it is quite close. Yanofsky needs a king or a nine. River card. Yes. It's a 10. A flawless performance for Fabian Leeds to his first bracelet. Neither player hits this flop. Jack seven trade two hearts. Ivy checks it. Well, I'd like to see Alex bet. I'd like to see Phil check raise. Ah, okay. I can't even get into it. They're going to check check. On my Nine watch. on the turn, and Ivy now has an open ender. Ponikovs has made second pair top kicker. Six million still up for grabs. Checking. He is going to bet this, I assume. Maybe. Three million. Half pot. Three million. All in. Oh my goodness, a check jam from Phil Ivey here on the stone cold come with eight high. Risking his tournament off. life. Alex exactly. wants a count with this ace nine. Can it work? Will it work? Call. Alex says call and now is poised to pick up the bracelet if he can fade a five or a 10. Just like that, suddenly we play for it all. Uh, we have seen Ivy get it all in on the wrong end of it a few times here tonight. He's gonna have to get lucky again here to stay alive. And he doesn't do it. The eight pairs Phil and the Latvian has his second. 
Cockle doodle doo.